Hello and welcome to Health Time, where we are learning to stay healthy. What do you do if someone is doing something that really irritates you? Do you shout and scream? Do you leave the room? Do you suffer in silence? Or do you tell the person how you feel and ask for understanding? You stand a far better chance of getting someone to cooperate if you tackle a problem directly rather than keeping silent or shouting and screaming. It can be stressful when someone is doing something that annoys you. Instead of showing your irritation or suffering in silence, it's best to tell the person how you feel. Help others to understand. People often react properly when they understand the cause of your frustration. For example, if the music is too loud, try saying, the noise you are making doesn't usually bother me, but I have a headache, so could you find something else to do? Help others to understand. Tell them what is bothering you, but also explain why. The book gives the example of music being too loud. Can you think of other situations and how it would be best to tackle them? Very rarely, people lose control so completely that they have to be physically restrained to prevent them from hurting themselves or others. Physical restraint or removal from a scene should not be a form of punishment. It should simply be a way of saying, you can't do that. This may also help the person who is out of control to save face. On rare occasions, people lose control so completely that they have to be physically restrained. This is to prevent them from hurting themselves or others. Never lose your temper when stopping or restraining anyone. Never allow unkind, unfriendly or jeering comments by others. People should be encouraged to see their strengths as well as their weaknesses. Then they can achieve their goals. Don't lose your temper. Don't allow unkind, nasty remarks by others. People should be encouraged to see their strengths as well as their weaknesses. Then they can work towards achieving their goals. So, other people's actions can cause stress and irritation. You will have a better chance of getting someone to cooperate if you tackle a problem directly. Help others to understand by explaining the cause of your frustration. Never allow unkind remarks by others. People should be encouraged to see their strengths as well as their weaknesses. That's all for now. We'll learn more about staying healthy next time I see you. Bye bye.